We caught Fox News red-handed last week. Fox News was matching contributions made by employees to the charity of their choice, including, but not limited to, the Satanic Temple. And the only reason why Fox pulled down the donations to the Satanic Temple is because they were exposed. On Friday, I spoke about this with Beth Ailes, widow of Fox News chairman and CEO Roger Ailes. Watch this. All of us know that devil worship, gender-affirming care, you name it, some of the themes of these organizations that are available to match the donations, they are all, they are evildoers, and as Christians, we have an obligation to call them out. Christianity is under attack, and what we're seeing from Fox is industrialized devil worship. Let's bring in co-founder and spokesperson of that group, the Satanic Temple, Lucian Greaves. Lucian, uh, welcome, uh, sir. So we found this. Again, I, I'm trying to, I worked at Fox for 11 years. It was founded on God, family, country, God being the top, very Christian, very wholesome middle America uh, values. And then there's your site, your organization that Fox would match up to a thousand dollars of employees to the Satanic Temple. Lucian, uh, for me, it it it, it felt felt uh, bad, felt gross, felt wrong. Why am I wrong? Because I think Fox was just using a third-party app that was allowing contributions to any uh, charitable organization that qualified as such as a charitable organization. On our side. Nobody was shocked by this news. People within the Satanic Temple weren't worried that we had some kind of uh, formal background affiliation with Fox, which they would also reject. So I honestly think what we have going on here is kind of a conservative purity spiral. I think they're holding Fox to a standard that's somewhat unreasonable. And I think is it is it Lucian? Is it is, is it Lucian? Because I'll be honest with you. We're at the forefront of this story. We saw this story coming before. I mean, is it really uh, unfair of me to say the people who made Fox successful, the, the viewers, um, were shocked and are shocked that they'd be matching up to $1,000 donations to the Satanic Temple? And I don't buy this crap, Lucian. Uh, thank you for coming on. I respect you for doing it. I don't buy this garbage that they didn't know. Fox didn't know who, people, who they were giving their money to because I think they do. And the only reason why they brought it down is because they got caught. But go ahead. No, I, I, I think it is unreasonable to expect them to go through any qualifying charity. Uh, the, the, there's an expansive list of organizations that are recognized as 501c3 charities. And Fox isn't telling anybody that they have to contribute to anybody. I think people are angry about Fox for different things. I think people are angry at Fox for firing Tucker Carlson. I think people are angry at Fox because they think Fox hasn't been living up to propagating the values that they hold dear. Well, that's true, um, Lucian. It's, it's right there. Kind of it's right there. It's right there, Lucian. It, 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 they are. They aren't living up to propagating the values that made Fox News successful because by donating to the Satanic Temple. Now, don't give me this stuff where, oh, they, uh, there are third parties they had no idea because I'll tell you who they don't, uh, who didn't and didn't allow is uh, Franklin Graham's uh, ministries. You cannot match, they would not match the Franklin Graham's ministries. And Franklin Graham, frankly, advertises on Fox News. So this whole idea they didn't know, Fox is a massive organization. I spent a lot of time there. They have a pretty good idea of every single dollar that's spent. But, I mean, if, if you have employees and the employees are allowed to give to any charity they want, you even want to set up a situation where you have an organization dictating to you not what your value should be, but exactly what you are allowed and not allowed to do. I think if you're trying to instill values in people, you would give them a large directory of charities that they can donate to, and you might not take the time to vet through, because I'm sure it's a massive, expansive list. I'm sure so, okay. whoever... Okay, it is, uh, and it is, and it is, and, and there, there are you know, LGBTQ sites that they'll, they'll, you can donate to. And some of them, frankly, are pushing the envelope of what you'd want your children to be seeing. But it's like, I don't know, Fox drew the line with Satan. What, what does that say for the Satanic Temple? It doesn't say anything for us, because I think from the outside of this, when we're not in this, when we're not in this conservative world, uh, I think it's more easy 
easy to see this as the purity spiral that it is. And these purity spirals as kind of cancel culture has been something that's been a signature of the left for a long time. And it's crippled left-wing activism. The left-wing ideologies generally kind of carry the day when it comes to the population and, and popular demand. But conservatism has gone really far because they really involve themselves in politics. They focus on the issues they're concerned with. And there's generally a unity in the conservative movement. And I think it's really dangerous to any movement when you start holding people to these kinds of unforgiving standards. I, I, hate, I, think to, I hate to say it, Lucian. I hate now. to say it, but I think, but, <laughs> you know, it's not like they're, they're being inclusive. I mean, th there's inclusivity and then there's the devil and Satan. And I would say that most people, certainly people watching this show would say, no, no thank you to the devil. Lucian, I got to leave it right there, my friend. Uh, thank you for coming on. You're a stand-up guy for doing it. It's just, I, I, a Catholic, I'm a Christian. I, I just don't like anything about about your your organization and being a co-founder frankly having a hard time talking to you my friend but lucian thank you for for being here thank you for agreeing to have me on